In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for PbNO3 2 plus CuSO4. That's lead 2 nitrate plus copper 2 sulfate. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Next, we write the state for each substance. You know your solubility rules. Nitrates are very soluble, so we write Aq because that's going to dissolve and dissociate into its ions. Sulfates in general are very soluble as well with a few exceptions, so that's aqueous. One of those exceptions is lead sulfate, probably one you should remember. So you could look this up on a solubility table if you didn't know, but this is insoluble. That means it won't dissolve in water, so we're going to write an S after the PbSO4 because it'll be a solid. When these two substances react, this will form as a solid. It'll go to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have that, and then we have another nitrate that's going to be aqueous as well since it's soluble. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. We don't know the charge on lead, but the whole nitrate ion is always 1 minus. Good one to remember. Since we have two of them, we need to have a 2 plus here. So this will be the lead 2 ion, and I won't write the states now. Let's write that later. Plus we have two of these nitrate ions. For the copper, again, another transition metal, but the sulfate ion is always 2 minus. So the copper ion is going to be 2 plus. So we'll have the copper 2 ion plus the sulfate ion. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart. So we just write PbSO4. For the copper 2 nitrate, we know we have a negative charge here. Since we have two of these, have to have a 2 plus. This will be Cu2 plus, that's the copper ion. Then we have two nitrate ions, just like in the reactants. And these are the products. So this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we're going to cross out those spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants, I see I have two nitrate ions. I also have that in the products. Cross that out. Then I see the copper two ion right here and again in the products. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation for PbNO3 2 plus CuSO4. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for lead 2 nitrate plus copper 2 sulfate. You'll note charge is conserved. We have a 2 plus and a 2 minus. That gives us a net charge of 0. Over here in the products, a neutral compound, net charge of 0. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.